The Dacians were an ancient Indo-European people who inhabited a region broadly corresponding to modern-day Romania and Moldova, as well as parts of Bulgaria, Serbia, and Hungary. They were part of the larger Thracian cultural sphere but developed a distinct identity by the first millennium BCE. The Dacians are believed to have emerged from a blend of local Neolithic and Bronze Age populations with Indo-European-speaking migrants during the Late Bronze Age. Their society was tribal yet sophisticated, known for fortified hilltop settlements called Davi, advanced metallurgy, and a polytheistic religion with a strong emphasis on the worship of Zalmoxis, a deity associated with immortality. The Dacians are most famously remembered for their intense and prolonged interactions with the Roman Empire. Under the leadership of King Burbista in the 1st century BCE, Dacia became a powerful and centralized kingdom that briefly rivaled Rome's regional influence. Later, King Decebalus became the central figure in the Dacian wars against Rome, resisting Emperor Domitian and then Emperor Trajan in the early 2nd century C. Despite strong resistance and some initial victories, Dacia was ultimately defeated in 106 CE after Trajan's second campaign. The region was annexed as the Roman province of Dacia, and Roman colonization introduced Latin culture and language, laying the foundations for modern Romanian identity. After Roman control weakened in the 3rd century CE, the region saw increasing pressure from migrating groups. By the 4th and 5th centuries, the Huns began to dominate the Pannonian Basin, modern-day Hungary, which had once been part of the Dacian sphere. For this video, I gathered nine Dacians from Eastern Hungary dating to 4th century C. These samples plot with modern Balkanites, such as Bulgarians, Albanians, and Croats. Here's an FST run I did on this population using Admixtals 2 versus the results of their simulated G25 coordinates. QHIM analysis revealed that they descend from a mixture of Thracians with local Eastern European nomads. Another QHIM run revealed that the Dacians of Hungary had a significant portion of steppe ancestry, comparable to some Northern European nations. I ran their genomes through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Four of the samples were male, and of those samples two carried the Y lineage R1B. One sample carried R1A and one sample carried G2A. The rest were female. The most common predicted phenotypes were Corded and Dinarid, both of which are associated with Eastern European populations. The most common predicted eye color was hazel, and no sample scored dark brown eyes. The most common predicted hair color was dark brown, but two blondes were present. The most common predicted skin color was olive. Most samples had wavy hair, and no samples scored kinky for their hair shape prediction. A bit over half of the samples were predicted to have Greek nose shapes. The samples were strongly predisposed to male pattern baldness, which is characteristic of European populations. Regarding dopamine reuptake, most samples were intermediate between the high dopamine warrior and low dopamine warrior phenotypes. The samples had a strong predisposition to autism. Most samples were lactose intolerant, but some samples did carry the European lactase persistence mutation. Most samples were predicted to have an average level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The Dacians had low predisposition to type 2 diabetes, very high predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, average predisposition to atrial fibrillation, and low predisposition to a wide range of cardiovascular issues. The Dacians had average odds of ADHD, average odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and low odds of Alzheimer's. The Dacians had average odds of rheumatoid arthritis, quite average odds of type 1 diabetes, which is peculiar because Europeans tend to score very high for type 1 diabetes. Risk variants for ankylosing spondylitis were very common among the Dacians, and 3 out of 9 samples scored high for odds of multiple sclerosis, which is consistent with what is typical for Europeans. Regarding cancers, the Dacians had average odds of polycythemia vera, very high odds of testicular cancer, and average odds of epithelial cancers. The Dacian samples scored remarkably low for athleticism, only one sample carried the athletic CC genotype in ACTN3's R577X variation. This is a very low rate by European standards. Typically, European populations would carry as many C alleles as T alleles. The Dacians had low odds of allergies, average odds of obesity, and average odds of syncope. The Dacians had a predisposition to lower levels of vitamin D, 
which is bad, elevated levels of LDL cholesterol, which is bad, and also lowered levels of HDL cholesterol, which is also a negative for their health. None of the Dacians had hemochromatosis, no sample scored very high for predicted iron level. The Dacians mostly had shorter telomeres which leads to shorter biological lifespan. The most common predicted blood type was A, but O, B, and AB blood types were present as well. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in the description of the video, along with Andre DNA products and services.